Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike, my name is Mike. Nice shirt. So as we know, I've spoken at length on my YouTube channel about reality TV. I love reality TV television. I think the problem with existing in the 17th century, you know, if I had to teleport back to that time, the worst thing would be the fact that there was no reality TV. Having no electricity would suck, but having no reality TV would be worse. And I know many of you are also well versed in reality TV, but how many of you have seen the first ever episode of particular series? So be sure to let me know if you enjoy this series and give me suggestions on what shows we should watch the first episode of. For the first one in the series, I'm going to be watching the first episode of Wife Swap. Now, Wife Swap is one of those shows where when I watched it when I was younger, I thought, great, you know, love reality TV. And now I'm like, huh? I suppose one of the only good things about the show Wife Swap is that the title is very self-explanatory. Like with Big Brother, you're like, what does that mean? Do they just get someone's older brother? And what do they do with him? Whereas Wife Swap's like, oh, there's wives and then they swap. So this first episode is quite old. The aspect ratio is giving me very Damon Dominique. The Policcio family live outside Pittsburgh in a neat, immaculate suburb in a neat, immaculate home. Caprice cleans her spotless home for more than five hours every day. Jumping in early here, but one of the things about Wife Swap that just cracks me up is how much they get the complete opposite. So I bet the other swappy is gonna say something like, I haven't cleaned my house since 1481. Middle Ages tease. Caprice also expects perfection from husband Don and their two sons, Adam and Ian. Okay, Caprice's husband is very much giving me Incredibles Violet's boyfriend, but plus 40 years. Perfect clothes, perfect hair. Perfect hair? Where? I mean, I see some in this, uh, in the viewfinder, air. Uh. Ooh. And perfect teeth. We bleach our teeth every six months or so. And the theory is uh, that, well, if we drink coffee routinely all day long, and, and let it touch our teeth, then our teeth don't stay bleached as long. So we drink coffee through a straw. No joke though. No cap though. That was literally me this morning. I had an iced coffee with a metal straw, but not because I didn't want to bleach my teeth. I just wanted to, you know, feel a little bit fancy. But one thing that undermined the perfection of the household was when son Ian got a hamster. The hamster was called Tom. He lived for quite some time and he fell off his cage and died. Oh, I was happy when he died, yes. Um, anyway, so Voldemort when Snape pushes Dumbledore off the tower. The other thing that's banned from the house is noise. At every other house, there's some noise and here there's no noise. I think it's only right that I edit some music over the top of that. The Pitts live in a chaotic, rundown house near Hartford, Connecticut. <laughs> First of all, wow, the difference in the description of the houses. Caprice lives in this clean house. The Pitts live in the pits. It's a pigsty and it's run down and they, <laughs> and they don't shower and they don't have electricity and also they are war criminals. Ken and Bambi's family consists of three kids and 25 animals. Not them having a whole zoo. Life in my house is just, it's fun, it's hectic, it's chaotic. The kids, Cody, Casey, and Kendall, do what they want, when they want. Kardashians tease with the names there. Actually, speaking of the Kardashians, the other day, don't ask how I got here, but I was looking at pictures of the Kardashians roller skating because there are actually lots of pictures of the Kardashians roller skating and I think we needed to just quickly discuss how many pictures of the Kardashians roller skating there are. This is serious stuff. It's hell in there, it's horror. I've assembled all the five needed cards. Homework, sleep, all that stuff, it's no particular time. Why is Mr. Cody here giving me city girl's energy? I'm a motherfucking city girl, period. To add to the chaos, the kids have regular sleepovers. And all the animals run wild around the house. I tried to scream. <gasps> There's some rules in this house. Housework is not a priority. Did you know if you have a little bit of dirt in your house, you're actually healthier than if you clean your entire house? Another thing about wife swap is, you know how I said that they would find the complete opposites? So if they find someone clean, and they find someone who is not as clean, like they're already editing this lady to be the laziest organism on the planet. And the flip side is making the clean woman look super neurotic and insane. So there's literally no positive portrayal almost. After a 500 mile trip, 
the wives get to see where they will be living for the next two weeks. So we've been introduced to the two wives and their families. Now they swap and go to each other's houses and have a look around before the families get home. Before the wives meet their new family, they have a chance to explore their new homes. Why are they giving them break-in music? Like, imagine if you were just at home and then a middle-aged white lady with bangs just opens the front door. Oh my God, Ocean's 8. It smells. Me when I walk into the gym. Is it a bird? No. <laughs> oh, it's a copier. Me when I'm allowed to work in an office again. Okay, final stop. But I like how she was lifting it. She was like, I hope it's not an animal. Ah, oh. It's a copier. Each wife has written a manual, which is a guide to the running of their home. So for the first week, the new wives live by the rules written by the old wives. Ken cleans the bathtub twice a month. Oh. Put things in their place and life becomes much easier. Yes, but does it become much happier? Bambi with the spill of the century there. It's one thing to have, I guess, pets inside, but, but, but to have um, feces in, in, laying around the house. There's no excuse for that. Throwback to Gordon Ramsay telling that one old lady in Hotel Hell that she shouldn't be shitting on the floor. It smells like there's crap all over the floor. Probably because there's crap on the floor. There have been times when I have had diarrhea. So now it's time to meet the family. Hi, family. Ian. Nice to meet you. Hey, how are I'm you? Good, you're Ken? Yes. I'm Caprice. Hi, Caprice, how are you? Good. Nice this to meet daughter, you. Kendall. Hi, Kendall. That handshake. Caprice doesn't allow sleepovers at her home, but it's a regular sleepover night for the Pitts boys, and 10 friends have arrived. 10 friends? 10 friends. I barely even know 10 people. Also, uh, the five letters, two numbers restrictions would have an absolute field day. Am I right? Wow, current event. I heard screaming, yelling, jumping, running. I felt it was disrespectful and inconsiderate. Bambi's first task of the morning is to present breakfast to Don's exacting standards. Okay, <laughs> I need to point out the music here. Why are they giving Bambi like a get out edit? <gasps> Not them predicting Ocean's 8 and also get out their minds. It's not the fact that like the whole house has to be clean and neat because if we have friends over as you just mm -hmm. saw with the sleepover it's gonna get messy anyways. She's trying to change it so it's more her way than really our way and that's kind of bothering me because when it's her turn I have a bad feeling that the whole household is gonna change. And it bothers me. Look buddy, young man, Mr. Sir, she just wants to sweep the floor. Let's cool it. Let's cool the jets. Pack it up, Justin Timberlake. Bambi now has to clean the house for five hours. So at this point in the show, they're living in the new houses with the old rules. So it's very much just one of them's doing a lot of housework and the other one's not doing any housework. Wow. <gasps> the wife is not doing housework. <gasps> it's 6 a.m. Monday morning and Bambi's trying to get Dawn off to work. Once again, she faces his breakfast test. This is really bad coffee. Bambi asked me how the coffee was, and I said it was pretty bad, and I meant it. <sighs> I am uncomfortable. Is it that serious, Mr. Sir? I'm getting deja vu to last night. I went out for dinner with my mum, and there was a guy and his wife sitting behind us, and he ordered the Chardonnay, and the waitress brought the Chardonnay out, and she was like, how is it? And he was like, the Chardonnay is good. And she was like, oh, great. And he's like, but. It's too cold, Chardonnay should not be cold because then it just tastes like the fridge. And me and my mum are like... It's too weak, that's what you're trying to tell yeah. me, politely. Yeah, Way I'm too not going to be polite about it. It's, it's, it's really just too weak. Was it you who ordered this ugly looking omelet? Caprice... Oh, why did I just yell that? Caprice is getting absolutely flamed and for what? Do you think she's a good housekeeper? Getting the sense that she's more of a playmate to the kids. She plays with them to the exclusion of her responsibilities here. Hmm for that, I guess. She attacked the family, she attacked the house. Matter of fact, she insulted us. Okay, but why am I an ugly looking omelet? So then what happens next is the wives have their new rules. Dual leap I got new rules, I got them. And basically, Bambi buys a fish and a cat and Caprice removes 22 animals and demands cleaning. Imagine if Caprice was just like, one, don't pick up the phone, you know he's only calling cause he's drunk and alone. Actually, no. Imagine if Caprice was like, 
Rule number one to be a boss ass bitch. Cody and Casey return from school to a very different home. How come everything is empty? There's oh like nothing my here. God. What the hell did they do? Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, they got worse. Now, how come you didn't talk to us about taking these things out? Ooh, I legitimately have beef with this random child from the early 2000s. Your dad agreed with taking stuff down and boxing it up. It's run away. I asked you to consult me first. You're making decisions without us. Consult me? Square up, let's go. So with the new rules, Caprice spends like, I don't know, three decades cleaning that house, finds a bunch of like shit, like literal shit everywhere. Oh my gosh. I think it's poop. Oh, I know it is. And Bambi throws a bunch of parties and the kids love it. And then Don plays the guitar. That's pretty much all you needed to know. Around about this point in every episode of Wife Swap, the families begin to realize that maybe this woman from the other family has a point. My house is dirty. Or maybe my mom needs to be more fun. Uh, we would like our mom to be more like a friend like Bambi is instead of like a strict mom. And then after they've spent that second week at the house, they have a reunion between the two couples to discuss what happened. After two weeks apart, the couples reunite. It's judgment time. As the two couples come face to face, for the first time. You can't do that to children. You just took away part of my family. Would you like it if I took Ian and put him somewhere? Um. I was there to help your family, not hurt them. You removed family members. I will never forgive you, and I've never said this to anyone in my life. I hate you. I hate you. Anyway, so. Oh my god, do you know what that music is? I feel like I'm having an out-of-body experience. That's the music from the end of every America's Next Top Model episode! I'm out of here. It was a cultural reset. After their stormy meeting, the couples return home and are reunited with their children. The kids always thought of me as a friend, and now they're glad that they have a friend and a mother rolled into one. Not the foot shot, not the foot shot. Where's Quentin? I know Quentin was involved somehow. If I look up Quentin Tarantino on IMDb, it's gonna be like, directing credits, wife swap season one, episode one. The man loves a foot. If you watch any Quentin Tarantino movie, there's fucking feet everywhere. Not for me, love, not for me. Honey, I'm not doing it, sorry. So to summarize what happened in this episode, we have super uptight mum with no personality, now likes to have a little bit of fun, and she's not as uptight. Love that for her. Then we have, Mum who hasn't showered since 12.09 now showers. And I love how this show edits like they've just changed their lives. If it weren't for Wife Swap, you know, I don't know what would have happened. Let's zoom out. Let's consider zooming out. Like, why do they have to zoom in so far? That's actually, that's a really good point by me. Great job, me, for that point. Early 2000s and late 90s TV shows, actually, I don't know if there was reality TV shows in the late 90s. Early 2000s reality TV shows, they loved to fucking zoom, right? They'd be like, this is the prime area. Like this cameraman really said, let's just remove his hairline. Not that it was really there in the first place. Why am I flaming Don? Another thing to point out is the selective editing. Obviously they want to have a good resolution because they want to say that the experiment worked. So then they showed the bits where a change was made. Pretty much every episode of Wife Swap is the same. They'll obviously change out the personality traits that the two wives have complete opposites. It's one of those things where I can't believe that it has so many episodes. So my review of the show Wife Swap, I would say in general, I'd give it like a six out of 10, but this particular episode probably like a five out of 10. I know it's an older episode, but I don't think it's aged very well. Like the whole house roles and family roles stuff. It's just, it feels really crusty. Big strong man must go work. Wife must clean, keep house tidy. Wife not clean, wife have animals bad. And then also like, wife too uptight, she clean too much, but she should still be clean, but have fun. Caprice is neurotic, she cleans all day. Her family is literally starving because she hasn't cooked a meal because she's vacuuming. Like, let's calm down. How about we just dial it down a little bit? That is literally not the sound a dial makes. Why is the dial slurping? So that brings me to the end of this video where we watched the first episode of Wife Swap, if you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you enjoyed this first part of the series and let me know what shows I should watch the first episode of. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you all soon. Peace out. Bye. Nice shirt. It's Christmas, let's go home. Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch 
and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. <laughs>